guys so today we got a pretty special video because we're going to be checking out the next level racing fgt light racing simulator frame so this is a pretty unique offering from next level and that it's for those that want to have the seat and the whole frame included in one package so inside this carton box is a retail box it says right here and here are the dimensions and how much it weighs so it's about 40 pounds and a pretty good sized box <laughs> And inside we can see that the retail box is very nice actually. Bring the racetrack home. So here we can see how the stand can be set up and looks like you can position it in a few different ways. So we got the formula position, GT position, and it also folds away. Compact, strong and durable, 330 pounds, and is fully adjustable. On the bottom of the box we can see there's a bunch of different languages. Looks like it comes with one year warranty. So if you guys didn't know, Next Level Racing is actually from Australia. All right, cool, let's get inside the box. This opens from the top and you got a little tab here. Well, that's pretty cool. Be fast or be last for reals. So it looks like we're all in one piece or at least in a bag. So I guess the best way to get it out is to dump it out. And it all literally comes out just like that in that plastic bag. So I'm not sure if there's any kind of assembling to do, but we will find out. It looks like probably. So first things first, we do have the manual. And it appears to be a very nice one. So it is fully colored. This is what's in the box. And it looks like we do have steps. So 1.0, 1.1, 1.2. So it does appear to be that assembly is required. But I'm sure it's not going to be too hard. So let's go ahead and pull out all the pieces and then we'll start putting them together. Actually guys, there's a strap that goes around all these parts so they're just not flopping around all over the place. So we do have quite a few pieces here. Go ahead and cut this loose. All right, so I got all the pieces out and we're gonna go ahead and assemble it by the instructions step by step. So if you're not interested in this part and you wanna skip to the good stuff, I'll leave a timestamp right here. Okay, first step. So it looks like we have to insert this piece here onto the bottom. And I guess this piece is already pre-assembled, which is this whole thing right here. So it's pretty unique how it operates here. It has like these wavy patterns and that's what makes it be able to adjust. And then at the end here we have a locking mechanism that kind of locks it into place and doesn't let it move around. So what you do is just kind of tighten it like you would do a bolt. And then once you get it tight enough, you use the lever here to clamp it down. So if it's too loose, you might need to tighten it some more. And that's how all of them work. So right now I'm trying to open it up and set it up in the position of this diagram. All right, so I think I got the chair where it needs to be. You guys can see where these brackets are. They're just kind of pointing down. So now we're going to take our foot brace and insert it into there. But before we do that, we have to unscrew these little screws right here. So you will need a Phillips screwdriver. So if you don't have one, they actually include one in this little baggie where the hardware is. So it's got like an Allen wrench and a Phillips screwdriver on the other end. Go ahead and grab this wrench also because you're going to need it. So on the bottom, there's a nut that the wrench goes over. So yeah, the bolt is just gonna go through the hole of the frame and same thing down here. All right, so that was one, 1.1 and 1.2. So 1.3 is installing the frame that holds the steering wheel looks like. So there is some kind of critical part here and they actually have a video if you guys wanna watch it maybe. All right, so I went ahead and stood the chair up and it's actually quite a bit larger than you would think. It's actually got a very wide stance to it and it's just huge overall, which I was definitely not expecting, but I guess it's good because it will fit pretty much anybody. All right, so here's the piece that we're talking about and there's the strap. And it looks like it goes into that one and then this one right here that opens up looks like and I guess fold it out. So there is hardware here that we need to take out, same way as we did earlier. And this other side technically should clip in here and that's exactly what happens. So you kind of need two hands for this, but it clips in there quite easy actually. So when this piece is all the way down, we can go ahead and put the bolt back in and the washer with the nut. And we can go ahead and tighten that, but don't make it too tight because this thing actually swivels. And the way it works is the tube has a little cutout that's kind of long. And you're going to do this latch and then you can swivel it away and that's where it stops and you can get in and out through the side. As far as that strap goes, I think what's happening here is this is basically just kind of like a little brace that holds this piece from falling whenever you undo these hubs. Because if you cut these hubs loose, 
this whole piece will also fall down. And so if you're trying to adjust, let's say your legs or the positions, you're always going to be fighting with this thing. And especially if you got your wheel on there, you want this little belt here to kind of hold this piece from constantly trying to fall whenever you're trying to adjust something or just, you know, put it away or whatever. So the way this belt goes is quite simple. It just goes from here to this little latch here. And we'll simply just feed the end through there. And then it's going to come around and go back through another latch right here. And then after that, tighten it up and then it will Velcro to itself. And so now whenever you release these hubs, this is not able to fall down. And it's held by this little strap here. Alright, so far we're making pretty good progress. And as you can see guys, it's not too difficult to put this together. So I think the next step, we're going to go ahead and install the pedal. And so this has the same kind of design here with these hubs. It's going to go like that, so the pedals do mount right here. And on this end, we have the clips that'll mount to this, just like that. But in order to free this up, is we're going to have to unscrew that bolt right there and then put it over the frame and tighten it back up. So yeah, this part operates the same way. You know, you can adjust this how steep you want it. And that's actually really sturdy. If I push on it, you guys can see it's not moving. And right here we have the pedal plates. And this is where the pedals will mount to. And there's two individual pieces here that kind of slide around. And you can adjust it to your pedals where the bolts go through. And then to lock them in, you just kind of screw this in and it'll tighten up. Very simple and uh, friendly design, especially, you know, for people that really want to adjust their equipment. This is very adjustable here. All right, so things are starting to look really good. So for the last part, we have the shifter plate and that goes right here. And it's gonna go like this. So we do have a bolt, same way. Pull that out, put the plate in there. It's actually kind of stiff. Probably have to use two hands to push it down. And we can go ahead, put our bolt back through there with the washer and nut. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up. And yeah, that looks like to be pretty much everything. All right, so now it's time to put in our driving hardware. And we're using the Logitech G920, that's for the Xbox. And so we got Marcus with us, and he's going to drive this thing. Go ahead and get inside of it, so you guys can see how that works. You move that out of the way, bring it back in. And let's see if he can lock it. Uh, look at that, that wasn't too hard, was it? The chair is quite large because uh, Marcus is not too small and uh, yeah, he looks kind of small in it. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the steering wheel. So we can go ahead and prep it, see about where it's going to be. Go ahead and hold it, Marcus. So, but before we can mount this thing permanently, we have to plug all of our accessories in, which is the shifter and the pedals and also the power supply. So the great thing about this wheel is it's got pretty nice wire management underneath. So if the power cord goes in here, you kind of just go around and then you find a channel and you just feed it through there and it has a really nice management for wires. So here we got the shifter and just go around and then just like that. And this is the pedals. And there we go. So now we can go ahead and install the wheel. So the great thing about this kit here, it does come with hardware and these fit perfectly for Logitech and I think other brands also. So we're going to need two bolts and an Allen wrench that's included. And so the way the wheel mounts it, it has these two clamps here and also two bolts that go underneath to permanently mount it. Alright, so the one, two bolts are in and the clamps are tight. So let's do the pedals next. So we're just going to set them over. And the good part about this is that you can just raise this whole thing up. Now we're just going to tighten this up. Alright, so the pedals are mounted to the sliders. So now we can adjust them going this way and also up and down on that end so we can tilt them. So it looks like we can go out a bit, right? Okay, let's go ahead and push them up. Let's go all the way and see what happens. Can you reach it down? Yeah. So how does that feel right there? Pretty good? Yes. Alright, so it looks like that should work. So when you get them where you want them, just tighten these up. And what that's going to do is it's going to clamp to the pipe and make it where it's not going to move at all. And there's two more on this side. And by the way, these don't need to be very tight at all. Just kind of snugged up just a bit. And that's it. We got our pedals in. So for the last part, we have the shifter. And so the shifter goes on our shifter plate. So the shifter does also have these clamps, but they barely grab on this little edge here. So definitely going to need to install these two mounting bolts. All right, and the shifter is in, and then it's rock solid. So Marcus, how does that feel? Is the shifter in a good place? Yes. Alrighty, so we're gonna tidy everything up and hook up the Xbox and take a little test drive on this new simulator.
is the next level FGT Lite simulator stand. So this thing's a lot of fun. And as you guys can see, it's pretty sturdy. There's no shakes or flexes. It feels quite solid overall. And it seems quite comfortable too, the way this seat is made. I don't know if you're gonna be able to sit there for hours and hours, but you know, an hour driving session should be quite comfortable. So the GT Lite is definitely unique in that it can fold up and be put away. The pedals come up quite easily, and then you can fold the other stuff also with not too much trouble if you needed to. So this is a pretty good stand to get into sim racing because it's quite affordable. And if you always wanted to try, this would be a great choice. And also paired with this Logitech, it's a very good match with this stand. Also guys, I'm using a Vizio V-Series TV with the next level stand that's actually portable and it rolls around, which is really nice. All right guys, well hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then hit that like button. If you want to pick up the FGT Lite for yourself, I'll have some links in the description, so check that out. And also check out our other videos. We got next level simulators that we already reviewed. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos like this and you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button to see more. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.